Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. Ooh, so we definitely have some star seed energy in here. Some of you guys are destined for something great here, like social media fame, like literally famous, like a, like a, you know, a celebrity type energy here. Huh. Some of you guys are literally destined to be famous for some type of spiritual gift that you have. Okay. Um, yeah, like some of you guys are literally here to help other people to be of service to other people to help the human race evolve to aid in that um yeah some of you guys are literally supposed to be leaders like you guys are like spiritual leaders or a leader in some type of way or there's like people like actually look up to you or they will let's see what else is talking about some of you guys are literally going to end up famous like or you already are um, let's see. What else do they need to know? Let's piggyback off of this. How many more? We have, ooh, what is this? There's going to be some people that are jealous of you. Like, if some of you guys are already, like, famous or you get a lot of attention, you are a leader in some type of way, you guys are gifted and you, like, share your gift, like, you, you... You use your gift as like a service, like you read tarot for people, you do Reiki, whatever it, like there's people that are jealous of you. So, ooh, definitely with the devil here too. Yeah, you guys may even have some people around you that are hidden enemies. Like you don't even know that these people don't have good intentions for you. Yeah, time off. What is this? All right, cycle. Suddenly, there's somebody here that you had to take a break from. It, it, it doesn't have to even be romantic. It could have been, it could be platonic. It, yeah, it could be like a friend, family member. Um, it could be love for some of you. But there's somebody here who you are having to like take a break from or something like that. Because you maybe kept going through some type of negative cycle with this person. It became toxic. That's on the back of the deck. The woman. So for some of you, it's like a, a female. It could be a, a feminine energy. Or there's a feminine energy that's going, ooh, let's see. The end of despair being offered a second chance. What was lost is being restored. Poor health, friendships. Yeah, this is like kind of giving me the vibe of like a female friend. What about this person? Like somebody's going to try to come back into your life. This person could have like an addiction or some type of mental health condition or something like that. They could be wanting another chance like to be a friend to you or, so, or this could be romantic for some of you to try to restore a connection. But this is looking like friend. Like, this is like a toxic friend that you guys let go of or released. But this person, you have triggered this person. Like, something about you has triggered this person to evolve. For some of you, whoever this person is, they were a taker. Like, they took something from you or they were taking from you. Somebody could have been obsessed with, like, your abilities or your leadership qualities. Like, that's weird. Yeah. Like, I see you guys feeling like you only have room in your life for friendships that are meaningful and that you thrive in. Hmm. That get, that are re balanced, reciprocal. But there was something here. Secrets. Obstacles. Ooh, what is this? Somebody was... Uh, let's see. Tell me more about what this means for my collective. This is an interesting reading. I felt drawn to get these decks out. And it's definitely, see, something is like, can't, yeah, time to time, time to do something different here. Yeah, like you kept repeating a cycle with a certain person. Oh. What does this have to do with my collective? I kind of feel like I know where this is going. I'm going to be honest. Hold on. Single life. So you guys could maybe be focusing on moving like to a different home or relocating, like just focusing on yourself. See, this is actually a situation external from you. 
Yeah, I don't think this has anything. It, it does, but it doesn't have something to do with you. Yeah. A special gift given to you. Seize the opportunities. Unique gifts bring luck and success. What does that do with my collective? See, what is this? Is somebody viewing you as a rare find, a rare opportunity? What is brick wall here for? Some See, it's like a situation can't move forward until divine timing. Like divine timing is at play in a situation. What is this situation? Good news. There's going to be some type of good news that comes in. I, I knew it was go, heading that way. Love. It's something about, okay. So for some of you, you have been identifying the toxic and jealous people around you in decluttering your life or taking a break from those people. But I also feel that there's somebody external from you. Yeah. Who's like going through some type of karmic cycle or somebody's going to want to make something right with you. Like somebody external from you is going through some type of karmic lesson. Like somebody's going through karma right now, guys. And that's why you had to take a break from them. Like the, you, the spirit's like, we're going to push you out of the, the way we go. You and this person are going to be on a break for now. We go, they got to go through their karma. And when they go through their karma, it will be divine timing. Just know that this person knows that you are rare. It's almost like whoever this person is, they're a little bit jealous of you or like, about love yeah good health like a situation is going to improve when it comes to love but i feel like whoever but yeah it's like a timing thing waiting game expecting to hear news putting your life on hold prepare ready waiting waiting for something or someone tell me more thorns yeah i feel like you guys were trying to wait for somebody to get their shit together but it came to that point where like it just became too painful for you right you made some type of difficult choice to kind of like Start moving in silence with this person or cut off communication with somebody here because they were ch childish. Yeah, they could have been childish. Hmm. You may end up starting a family with somebody, rebuilding a relationship with somebody, but it's just not. Guys, I already know where this is going. Third party. So guys, I promise you that I don't always want every situation to be about love, but I guess the divine said, Jalen, you're going to be a, a love reader. You guys are going to help people in the area of, you're going to, you are going to help people in the area of love, um, but, or do readings in that area. But there's somebody who's in your energy, who's, this situation is on hold, or it's not even on hold. You're, it's like. It's like, I guess when it comes to things moving forward between you and this person, it's at a stand standstill. It's at a halt. And this is a divinely orchestrated halt, okay? Um, because this person has some karma that they needed to reap before the two of you could come together. Um, remember, karma, through karma, you know, we learn lessons, we grow, we change, and we're supposed to, right? So when you were dealing with this person, they were very immature. They weren't ready. They, they weren't ready at all. But when, once they go whatever through whatever they're going through... Yeah. See, this is somebody that had a third party. I'm sick of the third parties, guys, but yeah, they definitely it says other others interfering in your business, possible love triangle, too many people involved, someone is watching you, and I feel like this caused you a lot of sadness. So they have a feminine energy around them that what were those cards i don't know if i can find them was it this deck they have a feminine energy around them that is not good okay let me see if i can find that so we can take a step back to that um if i can find it <laughs> I don't know. I don't see it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there is somebody around them that is not good. They've been at a crossroads about who to choose or something like that. Yeah. I feel like they went back to a situation with, um, yeah, they went back to a situation what is this friendships though? Yeah, with this woman and the Phoenix card. They I feel like they went back to a situation and this is where they ended up. Poor health. 
neglecting health, health needs assessment, mental health conditions, addictive habits. Or maybe they have an addiction to going back to a certain person. But what is this friendship's energy? They maybe know that they have to declutter their circle of people. What is friendships coming out for, Spirit? What's friendships? See, there's some people, I'm telling you, somebody has some people around them that are not good for them. I don't know if this is you or this person. Marriage. What about marriage? Finances. Ooh. <laughs> I really hope that this person didn't um, marry somebody for money. And it landed them in a really bad place. So then, what about marriage? Leadership. High influence. Oh. Stepping into a leadership role. You know you're valuing your self-worth. Using logic over emotions. Okay. It's okay. So this masculine went into a situation where they felt like they were the breadwinner or something like that. Or they, they felt like they had control. Or they were the leader. A masculine energy went into a situation where they felt like they would be like... They, they used, first of all, they used logic over emotion when they went into this situation. So they married this person? Talk about marriage. They took a risk. Wow, guys, they did something. And how'd that work out? That, that ended. It's over. Or it's leading them to some type of big transformation. That ended. So they, they, took, they went into a relationship for money. They married somebody for money. Wow. If... What about leadership? Self-image. They went towards a situation that made them feel good about themselves. Where they felt like they had control and they felt like who where they felt like their like their ego was stroked or mm, tell me more. Higher power, choosing your highest good, aligning with your higher self, connected to spirit on the path of the divine. Bridge, okay. And lightning. What was the sudden change? Okay. See, somebody feels drawn to like moving to the next chapter of their life. They know that moving to the next chapter. I really hope that for some of you, this person, somebody feels drawn to you, taking quick action, shocking events, love striking you unexpectedly. They were feel they they were feeling drawn to teaming up with you. The world yeah they're closing out a cycle because they feel drawn to coming together with you but it's not it's, it'll happen in divine timing so that's why it was important for you to just let this break happen and just let it be what it is because wow guys so you probably dealt with somebody that went off and married another person they married somebody or something like that they married somebody yeah they could have like there was like a wedding or something tell me more about celebration secrets Ooh. Moving in silence, hidden factors, lack of communication, not having all the facts. Okay, what about that? The moon. Something was hidden. What was hidden here? Trial and error. Experimenting with your life. Experience. Inexperience in a job or situation. Willingness to try new things. Okay. Dating. Oh. Toxicity. This person... For, this doesn't even make sense, guys. For some of you, this person was hiding from you. They started going out more or like hanging out with friends more, dating people or something like that. They started dating around, flirting. Like they're in the process of, guys, of like trial and error when it comes to dating. Like, okay, I'm going to try dating this person. Okay, I don't like that, but I I'm, I learned a lesson from that. All right, I'm going to try to date this person. Okay, that didn't work out, but I learned my lesson from that. It's like... So what's that do with my collective? But just say that, just no spirit. I mean, guys, that positive change is coming in. This person is cleaning up their life, but why? Because they got some type of something didn't go in their favor. What about what is sad news and abundance between worlds? Torn between two paths, space between the old and the new, trying to balance your your two lives in transition. What is the sad news though? Answer some type of something came to light. Having answers and clarity about some type of somebody acting on some type of lust or somebody having a new passion in their life. Yeah, you guys found out this person was sleeping with somebody else. I feel like they were maybe sleeping, but like this doesn't even make sense, guys. So there's one situation where it looks like they married somebody for money, and then at the same time, they were out there experience, experimenting and dating people. What? <laughs> what in the world, y'all? Tell me.
me more. Isolation. So who's isolating? They're doing about, ooh. So somebody is isolate. Maybe someone's very focused on their money, barely hanging on, leaving living paycheck to paycheck. Burnout is knocking on your door. No savings, limited resources. Okay. Potential. See, guys, I don't know. That marriage aspect, maybe this person thinking, okay, if me and the collective come together, because again, didn't I say that some of you guys are very well off in what you do? Like you're you are literally have money, like you're famous. Or you do whatever you do for work, you do very well at it. You get a lot of attention. It gets a lot of recognition. Like some of you guys could be like a CEO or a um a, a manager, uh something like that, a leader at your job. It's almost like somebody feels like connecting with you, or they're going to at some point feel like connecting with you is going to help them in some way. And I don't like that. Like I see that they're doing a lot of thinking here. It's like after the, they they were experimenting or something, and now it's like at some point they're going to go into a hermit mode if they haven't already. And they're doing a lot of thinking, and they're over there not doing well financially. They had some type of sad news in regards to some type of money coming in. They maybe thought something like if they went into a marriage or they got together with somebody for money, that abundance didn't come in like they thought it was going to. So now they're over there barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck like they're broke. and But they're seeing potential in you. Yep. They see that you have like made investments and your investments are paying off. Yeah, a stable business steadily growing. They know that some of you guys have successful businesses. I don't like this. So tell me more about it. See, what about some, uh, trial and error? See, the same cards keep coming out. What's that doing with my collective? Evil eye. See, you're being protected because somebody was maybe trying to use you for like have you around for the wrong reasons or something like that. Or somebody is jealous of this. Somebody's jealous because they're over there living paycheck to paycheck and you're over there flourishing. Oof. Yeah, you are. But just know that if they're sending you negative energy, it says you are protected, cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby. Careful who you trust. Yeah, because somebody is seeing you. What is this woman that keeps coming out? What about woman? Stepping stone. See? So if you're the feminine, somebody is seeing you as a stepping stone. I was just like, as a come up. I don't like that. Taking one step at a time, don't rush the journey, gradually building on its success to serve something bigger. I'm telling you, even if you guys are not like rich, it's like the, you guys are at the, the beginning of something that is going to grow into like generational wealth or you're going to become rich off of what you do. And what does that do with whoever? And like, there's going to be people that are trying to use you. The spirit is saying that you're protected or want to be around you for the wrong reason. See, uh, it's going to be a masculine energy. Tell you about the masculine see the unseen working behind the scenes not seeing the full picture the blessings you don't see see for some of you somebody took somebody got oh i can't even talk the divine took somebody out of your life because they saw what you couldn't see they knew the intentions of this person that maybe you couldn't see or they're over there working on something when it comes to this person Talk about lightning sudden change in what way they what is this sudden change or fast change sadness see regret disappointment Okay. Reconciliation. See, you guys are sad over be having to be apart from this person. The spirit says there's going to be a sudden reconciliation. I feel like at the time that you were dealing with somebody, spirit says that they were not, they did not have good intentions or their intentions just were not, you deserve better. And I feel like that's why spirit kind of blocked this, but they've been going through it, guys. They've been over there learning lessons, getting their ass burnt in situations um, they definitely have been exploring options. Nothing's been working out. Some of you guys, they even married somebody, which is crazy. <laughs> they married somebody for money. That's insane, but. Are there, they've stood, stayed married to somebody for financial reasons, but there's going to be like an, un, just, Spirit just says that they're working on whoever this masculine energy is behind the scenes. And there's going to be like a sudden apology somebody wanting your forgiveness wanting to try again do things differently but i feel like you guys don't have the full picture about this yet you guys may have like inklings that maybe that might be a possibility or something but yeah let's see higher power yeah aligning with your higher self connect they have to align with their higher self they have to choose the path of the the divine see some of you guys are influencers or like you have like an online business or you have a strong social media presence I don't know. See, what is this? They may even take a risk and reach out to you on social media. Tell you about this risk. Crossroads. Somebody, I don't know. 
See, somebody's at a crossroads about whether or not they want to. It's actually weighing very heavy on somebody, them being in this energy of indecisiveness. What about, or somebody's indecisive about this soulmate connection. Yeah, work, entrepreneurship, career. Some of you guys may be at a crossroads like, should I continue to pour all of my energy into my work? Or should I even give this person the time of day? Yeah, what about boredom? You just want something different, teamwork. See, yeah. Let's see, what is this? Abundance. I, oh, Spirit is saying that you and somebody else coming together could lead to a lot of abundance. Yeah, fortune, luck, positive change. But it's like, it's somebody that you're supposed to build something with, but they had to clean up their life first. It's like, it was just, again, divine timing was at play in a situation. What is this marriage aspect, though? What does marriage mean for my collective? Because are they married? See, they could be, like, in the process of leaving a situation. I don't know. Like, they're, like, transitioning out of a marriage. Tell me more about that. Between worlds, dating. See? Seeing someone specific, going on more dates, feeling good and flirting, being open to love. Yeah. It's rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance. The end of despair, what was lost, is being restored. Purpose up in the air see yeah not knowing where you stand situation to sit yeah somebody's like one foot in one foot out the door the star i don't know you guys have this like power couple dynamic that's coming in like the marriage could definitely be you yeah look at this a journey to the next level and the reason why you're about things are about to level up for you is because you set boundaries you started staying true to yourself you started standing your ground and yes this was sad news for somebody because they did not like this all right renewal yeah i see you possibly either someone is divorcing somebody to embrace a new beginning with you or they're just leaving somebody and they're thinking about marriage with you what is this marriage aspect see toxicity marriage and toxicity brick wall yeah serendipity see perfect time. divine it's like divine timing there's delays though yeah but yeah another phase of life transition needs time need to find common ground i can't talk guys need to find common ground bridge the gap ghosting yeah somebody cut off communication because somebody was a hot mess yeah and you and not only did you cut off a masculine energy for some of you or a feminine but you cut off friends too yeah but something's not over no it's not over it's almost like somebody you were dealing with was in the process of a divorce or something like that i don't that like whatever that situation was it was toxic yeah, they may even have to move or like relocate because of this divorce or something like that. Yeah, but something's coming. Something has ended or is about to end. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I need to. I didn't even pull any tarot cards. I got so car carried away with this. These oracles. Um, let's, I guess let's draw a few tarot and then I am going to take this over to the extended because I want to see more of what's going on here. I don't, I'm not quite sure if this person has good intentions or not. Maybe I feel like at some point they didn't have the best intentions, but they may at some point. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Swords, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the um, High Priestess, Pisces Energy. I definitely feel like somebody was maybe hiding from you, that keeping it a secret that they were invested in another situation where there was a lot of conflict and they had to make a decision and they were playing games. I don't know. Yeah, because of their own insecurities and self-limiting beliefs. Yeah, they may have... Um, they didn't either feel good enough for you or it was because of money. They were worried about some type of financial loss. Were they married, Spirit? Eh. Whatever that situation was with that other person, it wasn't working. It was just a lot of conflict. They weren't thinking things through clearly. There's a lot of arguing in that situation, but are they married to that person? I'll just see that they're stressed the hell out. And yeah, it, all I know is that it's, they were stressed out in that situation. It's over. Ten of swords. It ended badly. <laughs> Yeah, they, they've made up their mind. Yeah, they've made up their mind and they could be choosing. They feel like this Queen of Pentacles, and I feel like this is you guys, because whoever you are, you keep coming through as like this businesswoman or man, okay? I don't know. Like, 
and stable, mature, got your shit together, and they know that miss, losing you will be a missed opportunity. So they're making some type of quick move or quick uh, decision here to return. Eight of Cups in reverse, rushing in with communication with the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, we have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They are quickly leaving a toxic situation. I'm telling you, they are quickly leaving something behind because whatever they planned in this that other situation it didn't work out for some of you they thought they were going to have their cake and eat it too with this two of pentacles in reverse yeah they thought that they could hold on to both of you but i feel like a truth was revealed yep i feel like a truth was revealed but um with the you have a wish fulfillment coming in fulfillment coming in